Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share top 10 Bixby voice commands that I personally use all the time on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which can also be used with the S8 Plus and the S8. So let's dive in and discover some of these amazing commands since I like to share as much as I can with all of you guys. Towards the end of the video, I will also show you how to access all the 3000 plus commands hidden inside Bixby in case you want to expand your knowledge of Bixby voice commands to control your smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. Now before I dive into my top 10 Bixby commands, I do want to let you know that I'm going to be using the button to launch Bixby instead of actually saying Hi Bixby. Now as you can see when I said Hi Bixby, uh, it came right up to take a command and again, uh, but I'll be uh, pressing the button. Uh, but I just want you to be aware throughout the video that I can access all these commands completely hands-free without even touching the actual uh, phone. But just for the sake of convenience, uh, I'll be pressing this button and barking Bixby commands right into the phone. So let's dive in and start off with the first command that is actually something I use all the time, especially hands-free. It has to do with the YouTube application. So let's launch the application. Launch YouTube. Okay, here it is. Search for Dark Knight trailers. Sure, let's check out what I found. Scroll down. Scroll up. Play the second video. Don't tell me about the spray. Really? Mm -hmm. Stop. But he's a hero. No problem. I paused it. Go back to the home screen. All right, so as you can see, I was able to go into YouTube, search for a video, scroll up and down, and even pick the video I want to play it and stop it and exit the application. Uh, that is uh, extreme amounts of control. Uh, in, a, in an app that doesn't even belong to Samsung. It's the YouTube app that belongs to Google, but it is integrated into YouTube, so these things are very possible. All right, now let's move on to the next thing I use all the time. Now I take a lot of screenshots on my phone so I can share with people uh, for guidance or just to share things. Uh, one way to do it, obviously, is to press the power button and the volume down key at the same time, but you can also use Bixby. All you do is uh, launch Bixby and just say the command. Take a screenshot. Got it. I captured the screen. We can see it in the gallery. All right, so you get a feedback, and then I can actually uh, uh, say something like this just to see the screenshot. Open gallery and show me the latest photo. Certainly. Let's take a look. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Let me go back to the home screen. Go back to the home screen. The next command I want to talk about has to do with when I'm playing a game or watching a video. So let's say that I'm actually preparing to watch a video on my smartphone or my Note 8 or my Samsung Galaxy S8 and I want the, uh, the, uh, the graphics and everything to look and sound the best. What I do is I say this to it. Turn on the entertainment mode. Looks like it's already on. Alright, so it looks like it was already on, but basically it's going to change up everything uh, so you get maximum clarity from the display for entertainment purposes. Now, let's say that you were trying to play a game. You can also enable the game mode. So let me uh, tap on that. I mean, let me actually command that. Turn on the game mode. And as you can see, it is doing it right now. And right now, the game mode is enabled. And you can do this with all these performance mode. Uh, instead of actually going inside, and manually changing them, you can simply bark the command at Bixby directly. It will go in there and do it for you. Now, as you can see, you have an optimized mode and a high performance mode as well. Anyway, let's go back to the home screen and I'm gonna show you the next command I use all the time. Go back to the home screen. Now, as you know, your phone will have its display on, but it's gonna turn off automatically uh, after a minute or two minutes, maybe five minutes based on your settings. Now I change this all the time. I change this when I'm not using the phone for demonstration to less. But when I'm actually demonstrating something to you guys, I change the screen timeout to five minutes so it doesn't turn off every five seconds. So when I'm done, all I do is, you know, I, I call up Bixby and I say, 
change the screen time out to 30 seconds. Okay. So as the you can see, is set to 30 seconds. at the bottom, after 30 seconds of inactivity, the screen will time out. Now, if I'm doing a demonstration like I'm doing right now, I like to be that I like to set that to be five minutes uh, because I don't want to turn off every other second, so I, can, I have to re-log in. So here's what I do: change the screen time out to ten minutes. Okay, the screen timeout is set to ten minutes. Okay, so if I go down now, you'll see that it says after ten minutes inactivity, uh, the screen will time out. Go back to the home screen. The next thing I like to do is I like to go to the Play Store and actually download apps using Bixby. So let me give you one example. Oops. Go to the Play Store and download Uber. Let's check the screen first. All right, so it looks like the Uber application has already been installed. So let's say I don't want Uber. I can actually uninstall it using Bixby right here. I can just say uninstall. You do have to tap OK with your finger because that's the way the uh, system is designed. They don't want to just uninstall something based on your voice. But again, uh, Bixby is context aware. So when I launch Bixby, as you can see at the bottom, next to the Bixby icon, you'll see the Play Store icon, so it knows that it's already in the Play Store. So when Let's I tap, take a look at what I found on the web. So when I do tap on, on uh, when I do say uninstall using Bixby, it's going to literally press this button as if you were pressing it with your finger, which is absolutely amazing. The next thing I want to talk about is the clock, especially the timer. Now, if I'm at the actual public gym, I'm not going to use this obviously because it sounds stupid to give commands to your phone. But when I'm working out in my house, I like to use utilize the timer functionality uh, for my resting. So if I'm doing a rep, then I put it back. I want to rest for a couple minutes, then go back to the exercise uh, for recovery. So when I'm doing that, I don't want to touch the phone. I could my hands could be sweaty. So so all I do is I just use the high Bixby command and uh, then, then bark the command into Bixby. But let me demonstrate that using the button. So here's what I do. Launch the clock. All right, here's the app. Start the timer. Okay, I've started the timer. So this timer will play for three minutes. I don't have to touch anything. And at the end of the three minutes, it's gonna start uh, uh, you know, alerting me and then I can continue my exercise. And just in case I wanted to pause this, I can do that. And again, Bixby is context aware. So when I press and hold the Bixby button or even say hi Bixby, it's going to know them already in the clock application. So let's do that. Let's pause this for a minute. Pause. So as you can see, just by me saying pause, it actually clicked the button that I would have normally clicked with my finger. Resume. See, now it's resumed. Cancel, and now it is canceled. And I can also go to the stopwatch if I so desired. Go to the stopwatch. Here you go. It swipes right over. And of course, I can go to the any anything that I want. Go to the alarm. Absolutely. It, Here's the list. Okay, so it knows that I'm in the clock application, and it will just swipe right over as if I I was doing that with my finger like this. All right, so let's go back to the home screen. Let me talk about the next command. Go back to the home screen. And this one has to do with parking. So I drive a lot and when I park my car, especially if I'm in the center city in Philadelphia, which is where I go a lot of, a lot of times, uh, I will actually ask Bixby to remember my parking spot because if it is a Saturday night or if it's a busy day, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's easy to forget where you were parked and then you'll be running all over the place before you can park your car. So before I exit my car, all I have to say is this. Save my parking spot. Okay, I memorized where you parked. And that's it. So when I'm going back to my car, all I have to do is ask Bixby uh, to remind me where I was parked and she will show me the exact location on the map and I can even navigate towards it. So that was the last thing I wanted to talk about but I just want to make some people aware of the things Bixby is able to do. It has a lot of commands you can tell it to do uh, to navigate your phone 
or you can even manipulate certain apps. If you want to learn more about the 3000 plus commands, you can tell Bixby, all you have to do is go over to the Bixby homepage over here, uh, tap on the settings icon, go to the settings, and then look for uh, voice and under voice, if you go down a little bit, it's gonna give you the uh, ability to look up all the available commands. So here's the voice apps and services, if you tap it. Now here's the Samsung apps that you can actually manipulate. And there's a lot of, lot of them, as you can see, you know, the, the contacts, phone settings. You can say open the phone app and show the recents. If you go inside, it gives you a complete detail of every single thing you can do. You can even accept a call using Bixby. You don't have to tap on the button. Uh, you can either say, hi Bixby, accept, or uh, you can press this button and say accept, and it's gonna accept the call. You can also decline the call, show missed calls, and again, look at how many options you have here. You can say things like, show me the ringtone settings. It will go right in there and I'll show you the ringtone settings. Let me show you that really quick. Hi Bixby, show me the ringtone settings. So it goes right in there, all right? Now let me go over to the uh, commands list here, settings, scroll down, voice apps and services. And again, you can do this for all these apps. If you tap on gallery, you get all the options. And if you keep scrolling down, uh, you will see something called the Bixby Labs. Now you can turn this on or off, okay? So if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to. But you can control things like video player, voice recorder, Samsung Notes, My Files, uh, and if you keep scrolling down, it says recommended apps. You can control WhatsApp, you can control Facebook, you can control YouTube, which is how I was able to do that in the beginning of this video. And you can do the same thing with Instagram. Again, if you tap these guys, it gives you details of every single thing you can do. And uh, it actually has a little bit more than what you see here sometimes, all right? So if I go to Instagram, you can do all these things. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you want to use it hands-free, or even if you just want to control your voice, uh, control your smartphone with your actual voice rather than your fingers. And a lot of people don't understand, but you can actually control your uh, phone with a combination of your voice and fingers. So you can use half voice, half fingers, doesn't matter. Uh, Bixby is designed to work that way. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you learned some new things. If you have any comments or concerns, make sure to drop them down below right away. I would love to see what you have to say. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you do use Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.